Sixers internet, hello, welcome back to another number six with cheese local food review. Today, Italian Pisolino Italian market. Excited you're here. Yeah, and we also wanted to do a Patreon shout out uh, from a supporter of ours, Mr. David Corrales. Donates $10 a month. He just up to that. I hope he's enjoying all the uh, exclusive Friday content we've been putting out for him and all of our content that we're giving him early. David, thanks for supporting. And if you guys want to help support too, go to patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese and sign up for the tier that best suits you. All right, guys, let's head to the restaurant. Let's feast. Glad you're here. guys, two different Pisolino sandwiches in that bag that's heavy. It's like holding a body. Uh, acquired Jump Cut. Okay, uh, this is gonna be a fun day, I think. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see what we got here. This thing is so massive. Oh my God. Okay, and whoa. Jesus. Look at that thing, dude. All right, so we've got a meatball sub, comes with a pickle. They obviously toast the bread, which I think is awesome. And then you're just seeing all like the delicious meatballs and sauce and it even comes with extra sauce and obviously some herbs on there. This thing looks heavenly. Yeah, they, look at that, he was right, look at those tubs of sauce. Dude, this is incredible looking. Yeah. I have to ask, how much were these sandwiches? I have to tell you, I don't know. <laughs> Let me look I'm just, oh, I, 15 bucks a piece. Damn, I, I thought they were be 30. For like, 50, yeah, 15 for wow. this, crazy. All right guys, and then I got the uh, chicken parm. It looks a lot like Corey's, but instead of meatballs, it's flattened chicken cutlets. You know how it is. Uh, it looks incredible. I can't wait. And uh, I'm glad you guys are here. Hey, before we get into this, guys, we want to tell you about a cool new thing we got going on. So you guys know that our Friday content has lately been exclusive Patreon content. We're going to switch it up a little bit and take back half of those and put them on our YouTube channel. So half of the time we'll still have exclusive content on Patreon, but the other half, we are going to be reviewing Gold Belly items. If you don't know Gold Belly, it's a website that or I guess a business, that takes food from around the country and makes them mailable so that you can eat, say, uh, Pat's Philly cheese steaks from Philly or Buddy's Pizza from Detroit, wherever you're at. We don't have a partnership or anything with them. Um, we just thought it'd be really cool to be able to try the foods from all the different cities that you guys love that we're not able to eat here in Chicago. We're gonna order them off Gold Belly and to keep the Patreon people included in the uh, Friday videos, we are going to put a poll up on our Patreon account with a few of the Gold Belly items and we're gonna let the Patreon members vote on what we get. So all the Patreon members, as of this video right now, that poll is up on Patreon. Go to Patreon, vote for what you guys wanna see us eat on those Friday videos and we'll snag it up from Gold Belly and uh, we're just really excited I'm to so eat pumped for that, stuff dude. from around the country. I'm so pumped, I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, vote, get on Patreon. They're like the, our advisors. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's eat. All right, a meatball sub, a chicken parm, pisolino. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, this is a good sub. Wow. I don't know how this bread is holding up. It seems like it's too much to be holding up, but it is. This is like the biggest $15 sandwich I've ever had in my life. Yeah, I think it's fine. Half of this is fine. <laughs> um, wow, the bread is, I mean, it's gotta be made in house. It feels like very homemade. But uh, this chicken is so good. That breading is great. Wow. That's the biggest chicken parm I've ever seen, for sure. Right, look at this. Pieces are falling off and the sandwich is still busting. Mm. I love that they toast their bread. I love the toasted bread. I love the flavor. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually gonna use my other sauce because I'd love to dip this like nachos. Oh, <laughs> like, it's like a chips and salsa, if you will. Oh my God, look at this. It's homemade red sauces. Like, you're not gonna see me much more excited than this moment right here. Let's see it. How'd that taste? Pretty unbelievable. It's so good. There's no reason this bread shouldn't be disintegrating in my hands. Yeah. It's messy, but still staying together. That's hard to do. How those meatballs? They look really so good. They look dude. so tender and good. This is a great sandwich. They're also known for pizza, so I guess just everything on mm. the menu is mm -hmm. amazing. How's the breading on that? It's great. Like There's literally not a miss on it. It's all perfect. I'm just like, this is a... I feel bad. Do you, should we go in there and give them some, some more money? <laughs> I'm gonna go full Dunkaroo, dude. You gotta use it. I think that's know? the move. You gotta use it. It's like an Italian dip, like instead of the French dip. Okay, I'm just losing that. There's full chunks of tomato in there. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. How is it amazing? I'm just blown away. 
I love it. Good salt, but not too salty. The bread's good on this. Mm -hmm. The meat's good on this. The cheese is good on this. The flavor all around is amazing. The fact that it holds together is unbelievable. Yeah. And that they go the extra mile and give you extra sauce. It's so much more food than you would think would be possible for 15 bucks. I know. This place is a home run. I can't believe I've never heard of this place. I'm mad at myself. Mm. Do more research, Sean. Yeah. This might be perfect. Yeah. This is unbelievable. There's not much else they could have done right. Oh my god. Yeah, half of that is like... I'm like already full. Yeah, that's insane. This has got to be fresh bread. It's got to be. I'd be. If they're finding a way to have it and be an imposter bread, then they figured it out. Mm -hmm. One thing I really love about like Italian delis, the culture of like the red sauce normally being made by somebody's grandma in like the 1600s and then passing down the like recipe. Yeah, isn't that cool? I just think like that, like the red sauce culture in Italian cuisine is so fun to me. God damn. Also, a couple new uh, vlogs out if you guys are interested. St. Patty's Day in Chicago vlog, if you're interested in that. Kind of fun, went down to my brother's bar. He works at an Irish bar, so he snuck me in through the back, which was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, it was a 45 minute wait. He's That's like, amazing. I'll unlock the uh, emergency exit. I was like, all right. And I snuck in, and then a bunch of people started getting yelled at. People kept coming. Like, <laughs> they people saw were, you do it or something? Well, I made it through and didn't get caught. And mm -hmm. then people kept coming in after us. Like, we sat at the That's bar then. So funny. And then the, the bartender's like, hey, what are you doing? And like, yelling at people. I'm like, oh, I don't know how we got in here. <laughs> So that was cool, and then also I went and did a trip to Akron recently, and um, the wildly cool place that I went to, so I did a vlog of that, I wasn't even gonna vlog that, but then this like industrial building that got renovated was there, and there was like this grow house inside of there, and yeah. all these like cool, like locally owned like clothing shops that do pop-ups and stuff, it was just the weirdest, like I was like, Akron, really? Like Akron? Yeah. Y'all are cool in Akron? Akron? I did not think it was gonna be that dope. You're really putting them on the map. Then. I can't imagine there's a lot of current day vloggers uh, going to Akron <laughs> right? and putting it up. Home of the Zips, one of my favorite mascots of yeah. <laughs> the university. Okay, I'm absolutely blown away by this. I gotta put this away or I'm gonna go into a coma. Once I start another half, I'm not gonna stop. I know, that's why I'm like afraid to. I'm not I can't a quitter. Start it. I'm not a quitter. I'm gonna actually save this and eat this over the weekend. Me too. I, I really think I could do a microwave air fryer combo. Yeah, I think so. That's like the that. weird talent I feel like I have is reheating food. <laughs> yeah. This still looks like the size of a baby. My it's ridiculous. Left when he handed me that bag to hold for a second, I literally thought you got like an extra sandwich. Dude, right? How heavy it is? Yeah. Guys, don't forget to like this video. It helps a lot. We have new episodes, as you know, just about every weekday. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. And then today, what would be your, what's your favorite sauce on a sandwich? Hands down, the one you put at the top of the list. Comment that and we'll interact with you today. And now it's time to rate it. Uh, out of five, uh, Pisolino, I don't know, I'm thinking Leaning Tower It means pizza. nap. No. Oh. <laughs> I saw that on their Instagram. I meant to say it mm. during this. All right, instead of Leaning Tower Pizza, out of five Snuggies. I think of a nap, snuggies, I think of a Snuggie. There we go. Never owned one, but mm -hmm. uh, out of five Snuggies, how many Snuggies do you give your 15-ish dollar uh, massive meatball sub from Pisolino Italian Market, Corey? That hit everything. The texture was amazing, the bread was amazing, the flavor was amazing, the meatballs, the cheese, it wasn't too much, it somehow held together. The price was incredible for how much you got. Hands down, that's one of the best things I've had in a long time with everything included. Yeah. It's just unbelievable. I have to go for a five on that one, it's amazing. I can't get over how similar looking our sandwiches were in quality and sauce and stuff, but they were two different things mm -hmm. entirely. My, they're, the price is already, like, it's just so far high because of that, but then it delivered on the bread keeping up, the sauce, the extra dipping sauces points. If there's a way to give more than five for this, I think they get extra credit, like back in yeah. school. I'm going five, dude. I'm so impressed by that. I'm gonna tell everybody about Pisolino if they wanna know an Italian market in Chicago. I'm so impressed. They also had, and because these are both 15 bucks, uh -huh. for $18, which now I'm thinking, well, how could something be better than these? <laughs> Breaded pork belly sandwich. That just blows so my I'm mind. So I'm like, okay, I should have gotten that. You know, I guess, I don't know, I'm an idiot. Keep in mind, the $35 a month Patreon level allows <laughs> yeah. you to pick what we eat, so hit that up. Tomorrow, if you wanna rock with us, you gotta sign up on Patreon, uh, so make sure to do that, and you can also vote in those polls and stuff. So see you guys tomorrow, Italian subs forever, goodbye. It's rainy here.